we're asked to find the area of the cardioid, r equals two minus two cosine theta. So this should be a double integral in polar coordinates of just dA. So let's see what happens. From our previous conversation, we know this should be an integral over that region r where the dA is really an r dr d theta. Now we just need to find bounds of integration. R is our first variable of integration and theta is the second. We can actually follow our procedure. R is the first variable. I need to send a ray through the region in increasing order of r. So we need to know what that means. Well, in polar coordinates, r equals zero puts you at the pole. And then any way you would draw a line segment away from the pole, that would be an increasing order of r. So I look at this and at r equals zero, I'm definitely in the region, right? Because literally I'm in the region, I'm touching that spot on the graph. And as r increases, I start at the pole and I go through the region, I hit the cardioid. I start at the pole and I draw that and I go through the cardioid. So I think my bounds for r are from zero to r equals two minus two cosine theta. Because I start at zero and then I hit the graph of the cardioid. Those rays are an increasing direction of r. And now I need bounds for theta. Well, I start plotting here and then I have to go one full revolution all the way around to get back to there, so I think my bounds for theta are zero to two pi. Okay, so I found my bounds. I use the same procedure, right? Draw a ray in increasing order of r, start somewhere, go somewhere. Let's see if we can evaluate this double integral. The antiderivative of r with respect to r is one half r squared evaluated from zero to two minus two cosine theta d theta. All right. Substitute in. And I get that, so I plug zero and I'm subtracting off zero and wait, one half r squared d theta. This is that area formula of a polar region we have from calc two. I've always preferred the double integrals personally. I love this setup, but both ways work. Just pay attention to instructions. You might be asked to do it using a double integral, but we'll always get to this moment where we remember something from calc two. All right. So I have equals integral from zero to two pi of one half times two minus two cosine theta all squared. So four minus eight cosine thetas plus four cosine squared thetas d theta. Let's distribute that one half. But let's distribute that one half with a marker that's writing a little better than that one. So I have an integral from zero to two pi, two minus four cosine theta plus two cosine squared thetas d thetas. All right, so that cosine squared is gonna get in the way. I can evaluate this, I can, excuse me, I can find an antiderivative of this, I can find an antiderivative of this. This one's gonna make me work just a little bit. I need to use a power reducing formula. All right, so I'm just gonna go left to right and find some antiderivatives because nicely those cancel off and I could go on and collect that as a three here. So I'll have a three theta. I need an antiderivative for minus four cosine theta. That's gonna be minus four sine theta. And then the only thing left is this cosine of two theta. And I need to evaluate from zero to two pi all right, well, nicely enough, the sine of two pi is zero. The sine of zero is zero. Uh, three theta evaluate zero, zero. So all I end up with is that six times pi. And so there's the area of that particular cardioid.